Good morning, Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you again this morning. Still cold and rainy outside, so I decided to stay in again this morning. I don't know, I'm getting lazy. But um, I received a call this morning from a lady who I've known for several years. Um, she has three children, and she, she lives with her mom and her three children. Um, she's the only uh, person with a job in the family, so she takes care of all five of them. Um, she doesn't have any dental insurance, and she called this morning. She's got an abscessed tooth that has had her in excruciating pain for days. Um, she called the dentist, and the dentist said that if she came in, they would pull it, and they gave her a price, and she was crying. She said, I don't have the money to get my tooth pulled. I don't know if I can you know, I can't stand this much longer. I've tried all sorts of over-the-counter stuff to control it, to control the pain and keep working, but it's just, it's just, you know what, what, what toothache pain is like. All of you have had a toothache at one time or another, I'm sure. Anyhow, she was asking if, if she could get some help to get this tooth pulled and, and, uh, you know, be able to move forward with her life without having all this pain. And, uh, so we talked for a while, and, and, and I agreed to help her, and I, I sent her some money. Um, but I began to think about pain. I began to think about how much pain is a part of our lives, how not necessarily always pain from a toothache or uh, an injury or something like that. Um, I'm still dealing with a tremendous amount of, of pain in my other knee now um, and I'm having I'm having trouble in fact I go to the doctor today to try and figure out if there's anything I can do for it before I leave for Guatemala on June 10th because it's kind of hard to walk right now and uh, you know pain is just part of our lives it's something that everybody has to deal with has to learn to deal with in one form or another at one time or another but I begin to think about what God says or what the what the scriptures say about that. And I came to Psalm, Psalm 147. And the third verse really stood out to me this morning. It spoke to me this morning. It spoke, it spoke to me for Crystal's sake. It spoke to me for my sake. It spoke to me for all of the other people that uh, I find in, in situations of pain of the heart or pain of the body, or pain of the spirit. David made this simple statement. He said, he heals the brokenhearted, he binds up their wounds. God doesn't desire that we live in pain. He isn't going to make our lives pain-free. But when God created this world, he didn't create it for us to be living in pain. He created it for us to live in fellowship with him. And the fact that pain is now very much a part of this world was not his original plan, not something he wanted, but something that that we have brought into the world, that sin has brought into the world. And, and, and sadly, it's a part of our, of our lives now. But even in the midst of those, even in the midst of that pain that comes into our lives, we have this promise that God is the healer, that God is the one that binds up those broken hearts, that God is the one that heals those wounds, that God is the one that's going to take us from that place of pain to that place of healing if we give him that opportunity and if we turn to him and, and, and walk with him. So this morning, I just wanted to reach out to, to people who may very well this morning be in pain, maybe not physical pain, but maybe a pain of the heart, maybe a spiritual pain as you feel separated from God. And I want to say to you that this is not God's desire for you to be in this situation. And he wants to reach out to you and he wants to bring healing and he wants to bring help and he wants to bind up your wounds and he wants to help you through it. You just have to be willing to cast those cares upon him, the Bible says, because he cares for you. So if you're struggling this morning with pain, why don't, talk, why don't take a minute right now 
and talk to God about it. In fact, why not let me pray for you right now? Heavenly Father, I just want to pray for all of those right now who may be watching, who are struggling with some sort of pain. Maybe it's a pain of loss. Maybe it's a pain of sadness because some relationship has come to an end. Maybe it's a physical pain due to illness or surgery or injury. Maybe it's a pain of the spirit because they feel very far from you and don't even understand that that's what the pain is that they're feeling. Whatever the pain is, Father, I ask you to reach down and touch them and draw them to yourself and bind up those wounds, bind up those hearts. And Father, let them find their comfort in you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a great day today. I hope it's a day filled with, I hope it's a day that is pain-free. God bless you and all that you do. Mom and Dad, if you're watching, I love you.